for the reading of the obituary by Angie Long Burn. We are deeply saddened to announce the sudden passing of William F. Long Jr. on September 4th, 2023 from heart failure. He was known uh, to his loved ones and friends as Bill. He was a beloved husband, father, brother, uncle, and friend, and his presence will be greatly missed. Bill's journey led him to touch the lives of many. Bill was born to William Frederick Long Sr. and Lucille Dagny Long on October 22nd, 1947 in Detroit, Michigan. He was the oldest of two boys. He graduated from Groves High School in 1965 and received accolades on the varsity swim team. Then Bill then went on to receive a bachelor's degree in communications from Michigan State University in 1969. He was then drafted into the U.S. Army in 1970 and served for two years. He received several medals for his service. In his professional life, Bill achieved great success across various industries. His career in radio and TV broadcasting, as well as a writer and producer, which took him to Detroit, New York City, Washington, D.C., Charleston, South Carolina, and Dallas, Texas, where he made a lasting impact. He brought stories to life, captivating audiences with his storytelling skills and journalistic integrity. Later, Bill found passion as a premier custom home builder. Through his company, Long Custom Homes, he crafted beautiful and unique homes that reflected the dreams and visions of his clients. His attention to detail, craftsmanship, and commitment to excellence earned him a stellar, stellar reputation in the industry. Lastly, Bill worked for McManus and Johnson Engineers of Van Alstine, Texas, a job that he truly enjoyed. Bill's warm and friendly nature endeared him to all who knew him. He was a devout Christian scientist. He loved spending time with the Lord and loved sharing his faith with others. He was a pillar of strength and a supporter for his family, always putting their needs above his own. His dedication to his wife, children, and grandchildren was unwavering and they cherished every moment spent with them. Bill's legacy extends far beyond his professional accomplishments. He had a passion for sports, especially hockey, where he spent many years coaching. He touched the lives of countless individuals with his kindness, caring, and infectious enthusiasm for life. He had a sense of humor that brought joy to those around him. He loved having a cup of coffee and conversation. He enjoyed being outside and loved being on the water. As we say goodbye to Bill, We find solace in the memories we share and the impact he made on our lives. He leaves behind a legacy of faith, love, passion, and perseverance. We will forever cherish the moments we spent with him and carry his spirit in our heart. Our thoughts and prayers are with our family and our friends. Thank you, Angie. We're here today to remember and celebrate the life of Bill Long. I'm Roy Barner, and Bill was my good friend. He is my good friend. We're here today to honor Bill in the way he would most appreciate. As you heard from Angie, Bill was a devoted Christian scientist. And I can attest that he was, is, the very best man, the very best of men in the Christian tradition. It is our highest hope that this service honors that truth in the way he would have wished. Lake, would you please come up? Let's begin by listening to a hymn from the Christian Science Hymnal. Bill's grandson, Lake Johnson, as a lovingly volunteer to read the first verse of this hymn, entitled, Shepherd, Show Me How to Go. The words of this hymn are written by Mary Baker Eddy, the discoverer and founder of Christian Science, 
And this rendition is performed by Susan Mack. <laughs> Shepherd show me how to go where the hillside steep, how to, how to feed thy sheep. I will listen for thy voice, lest my footsteps stray all the rugged way. Great job, Blake. Thank you. Please play the hymn. Please play the hymn. 
I shall now read scriptural texts from the Bible and their correlative passages from our denominational textbook, Science and Health, with Key to the Scriptures by Mary Baker Bain. The Bible, Psalms. God is forming. I will render praises unto thee, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. 
Wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling? That I may walk before God in the light of the living. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Second Corinthians. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, who comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also aboundeth by Christ. John, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Psalms The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And from Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures. To grasp the reality and order of being in science, you must begin by reckoning God as the divine principle of all that really is. The true understanding of God is spiritual. It robs the grave of victory. It destroys the false evidence that leads thought, that misleads thought, and points to other gods or other so-called powers, such as matter, disease, sin, and death, superior or contrary to the one spirit. If God is admitted to be the only mind in life, there ceases to be any opportunity for sin and death. When we learn in science how to be perfect, even as our Father in heaven is perfect, Thought is turned into new and healthy channels towards the contemplation of things immortal and away from materiality to the principle of the universe, including harmonious man. Blessed is the man that endureth, overcometh temptation. 
For when he is tried, proved faithful, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. James 1. The dream of death must be mastered by mind, here or hereafter. Thought will waken from its own material declaration, I am dead, to catch this trumpet word of truth. There is no death, no inaction, diseased action, overaction, or reaction. Life is real, and death is the illusion. God, good, being ever present, it follows in divine logic that evil, the suppositional opposite of good, is never present. In science, individual good derived from God, the infinite all in all, may flow from the departed to mortals. But evil is neither communicable nor scientific. My angels are exalted thoughts appearing at the door of some sepulcher in which human belief has buried its fondest earthly hopes. With white fingers, they point upward to a new and glorified trust, to higher ideals of life and his joys. Angels are God's representatives. These upward soaring beings never lead towards self, sin, or materiality, but guide to the divine principle of all good, whether every real individuality, image, or likeness of God gathers. Man is deathless, spiritual. He is above sin or frailty. He does not cross the barriers of time into the vast forever of life, but he coexists with God and the universe. In the following psalm, one word shows, though faintly, the light which Christian science throws on the scriptures by substituting for the corporeal sense the incorporeal or spiritual sense of deity. Psalm 23. Divine love is my shepherd, I shall not want. Love maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Love leadeth me beside the still waters. Love restoreth my soul, spiritual sense. Love leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for love is with me. Love's rod and love's staff, they comfort me. Love prepareth a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Love anointeth my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house, the consciousness of love forever. We'll now hear the song, Amazing Grace. This rendition is sung by Alan Jackson and was a favorite of Bill's. Please play the song.
I shall read the scientific statement of being from Science and Health with Key to the Scriptures. There is no life, truth, intelligence, nor substance in matter. All is infinite mind and its infinite manifestation, for God is all in all. Spirit is immortal truth. Matter is mortal error. Spirit is the real and eternal. Matter is the unreal and temporal. Spirit is God, and man is his image. <clears throat> and man is his image and likeness. Therefore, man is not material, he is spiritual. And the correlative of scripture from 1st John, 3rd chapter. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, 
and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. And the benediction from Numbers. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Amen. And now, if anyone would like to share their thoughts or reminiscences about Bill, please feel free to come up to the microphone so everyone can hear. Or if for some reason you don't want to come up here, just stand up and share so everyone can hear. Do you have any other stories that you could share with me? Tell me about your kids. Um, he loved um, telling stories and bringing laughter and light uh, to things. Um, Dad always had a story for any occasion. In fact, that was the highlight of his day. He would get a big kick out of it, as big of a kick out of it as you did. Dad sure had a contagious spirit about him that wanted you to smile. He loved making you feel good. My dad always was happy, happy from the minute he woke up. In fact, that's uh, one of my most treasured memories is his joyfulness. He had a thirst and energy for life, and he was sure a lovable guy. My dad loved waking me up in the morning. He would swing the door wide open and belt out, rise and shine, at the top of his lungs. He full of life and um, kind of happy-go-lucky. He was optimistic about everything. He never complained. He always had a joyful outlook on life. He was a great problem solver. He could fix anything. I love that you could bring him a problem and he would have a solution, whether it be a joke, a story, or an actual solution to the problem. I could always count on him no matter what. He was a hard, hard worker. He was all in. Whatever job he did, he was very loyal and dedicated. Dad loved, 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 I mean loved food. He loved the richness and savoriness of food plus sweets. He always had to end the night with something sweet. Apparently sandwiches became his thing recently. The highlight of his week would always uh, be where was he going to eat. He loved lunch, and especially weekly specials. Dad wasn't a bad cook either. He could whip up the best mashed potatoes around and uh, was taught well by his mama. Dad, I cherish our memories. I love that you showed me your favorite places and showed me everything that you loved, everything from summers in Michigan to watching football on Saturdays and Sundays, to lake houses, to boats, to hunting, to hockey, and on and on. We were best friends. What I keep closest to my heart is the time you spent with the Lord. He would rise no matter what or where he was, and he would um, read his lesson every morning. He spent time, and his devotion was the utmost importance to him. It was his way of life, 
His dedication to his faith and God had the largest impact on me. That was truly the best gift he could have ever given me. On behalf of Sharon and me and my family, thank you so much for coming to celebrate part of my dad's life. I know some of you came a long way, so please don't have that much that means to us. I know my dad is here with us now, not wanting us to be sad, but to smile. He would want you to think about your favorite joke or the story that he told. Here's to the good times, blue skies and pay races, he would say. <laughs> Can't wait to see you on the other side. I know that you and Will are shining down on us and that you live in each of our hearts. Thank you for making this world a better place. You did well, Dad. I'm so proud of you. And uh, I'm your one and only firecracker. I thought I'd read something that my dad, I found that my dad wrote me, and this kind of sums him up. He was always uh, throwing a joke here and there. He said, Dear Angie, this was when I was going to, to college. Look always forward, trust in God for his guidance, and know that he is here with you always. You all walk tall at Texas, but Angie can be ahead above the rest because she's along. Mother and I have given you the tools you need to be a good adult. See them, use them wisely. I'm very proud of you and your accomplishments. Love you so much. Hey, Bill, or hey, John, how you doing? 
and we meet at the little gate on our shared drive. <laughs> I'd sit there and lean on that, build lean on fence, and, and, we, and we just share things. And what I learned pretty quick was, yeah, I'd share things that are happening in our lives and what's going on, kids and all stuff like that, but I also learned to just kind of stop and you know, plant a seed and turn Bill loose. And I could blow up an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Just let him build that. And it was great stuff. And, and it was fun because over those snippets, over all those years, I got to learn about all the things that, that Angie spoke about. Learned about you and your family. Learned about um, all the different things he had done from being a little kid in, in Michigan. Uh, on Lake Charlemagne, and uh, um, and you know his, his army time, all these kind of things, just in little tiny segments, and and then you can stitch them all together over time and say here here's a picture of this of, of this cool guy who has lived who has lived and has lived this incredible uh, incredibly varied life, done so many different things and experienced so many different things and places and. And uh, all with all all the things that, that he talked about, he talked about with equal vigor, you know. So it was uh, so much fun. And uh, Mr. McManus, learned about you here in the last just couple of years. Okay, <laughs> 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 and now that's all gone. And, and it's, it's, it's been fun because uh, uh, just getting a window into that life. And, and, and I know we can all here tell stories about that, but I've got the biggest mouth, so I figure I'd stand up. <laughs> Uh, but I just wanted to say, I'm sharing how much fun it's been in order to participate in that puzzle piece way and to put everything together. And you know that you can rely on us. Thank you, neighbor. <laughs> Thanks for that.
the family announcement. The family uh, will be eating lunch at La Cima Mexican Restaurant here in Van Alstine after the service. While we're invited, it's simple to get to. Just take a left on the road out front, go straight west for 3.1 miles, and turn left at FM 3356. La Cima is immediately on your right on that corner. They're on Google if you need further help getting there. See me afterwards if you want me to repeat the directions to you. Right. <clears throat> now, our military will honor Bill's exemplary service in the United States Army. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we'll proceed with military funeral honors. If you are able, please rise and place your hand over your heart. Those who have served or are currently serving are authorized to salute during this time.
On behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation of their loved one's honor and his faithful service. Happy, happy. 
President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation, honor, and his faithful service. Thank you, brothers, and thank you for your service to our nation. We'll begin our close. I'll repeat the sixth tenet of Christian science from Science and Health, page 497. Those who wish to may join in, it's on your program. And we solemnly promise to watch and pray for that mind to be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus, to do unto others as we would have them do unto us, and to be merciful, just, and pure. Let's close by repeating one of Bill's favorite prayers, the daily prayer by Mary McRae. It's the last item on your program. Please join in if you wish. Thy kingdom come, let the reigns of divine truth, life, and love be established in me, and rule out of me all sin, and may thy word enrich the affections of all mankind, and govern them. The family thanks you all very much. I get where I'm going On the far side of the sky The first thing that I'm gonna do Is spread my wings and fly I'm gonna land beside a lion And run my fingers through his mane Where I might find out what it's like To ride a drop of rain yeah, when I get where I'm going There'll be only happy tears I will shed the sins and struggles I have carried all these years And I'll leave my heart wide open I will love and have no fear Yeah, when I where I'm going Don't cry for me down here I'm gonna walk with my granddaddy And he'll match me step for step And I'll tell him how I've missed him Every minute since he left And then I'll hug his neck Yeah, when I I will shed the sins and struggles I have carried all these years And I'll leave my heart wide open I will love and have no fear Yeah, when I get where I'm going Don't cry for me down darkness in this world we stumble through all these questions I can't answer and so much work to do but when I get where I'm going and I see my maker's face I'll stand forever in the light of his amazing grace
my soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burdened be then I am still and wait here in the silence until you come and sit a while with me you raise me up so I can stand on mountains you raise me up to walk on stormy seas I am strong when I am on your shoulders
It looks funny, Daddy, but I should have tried. Oh, with all that I've done wrong, I must have done something right to deserve a hug every morning and butterfly kisses at night Sweet Sixteen today She's looking like her mama a little more every day One part woman, the other part girl To perfume and makeup from ribbons and curls Trying her wings out in a great big world But I remember Butterfly kisses after bedtime prayer Sticking little white flowers I love you, Daddy, but if you don't mind, I'm only gonna kiss you on the cheek this time. Oh, with all that I've done wrong, I must have done something right to deserve your love every morning and butterfly kisses at night. a promise and I'll give her away standing in the bride room just staring at her she asked me what I'm thinking and I said I'm not sure I just feel like I'm losing my baby girl and she leaned over gave me butterfly kisses With her mama there Sticking little white flowers All up in her hair Walk me down the aisle, Daddy It's just about time Does my wedding gown look pretty, Daddy? Daddy, don't cry Oh, with all that I've done wrong I must have done something Deserve her love every morning And butterfly kisses I couldn't ask God for more Man, this is what love is I know I've got to let her go But I'll always remember Every hug in the morning And butterfly kisses
Forever. 